Hi, and welcome to Top Tips Tuesday. Jeff here again from GCD Property. Uh, and this week's tip is for those uh, property investors looking to understand or better understanding of the terms cash flow. Uh, cash flow is really the lifeblood of an investment property. Very, very important, especially when we're in times where properties aren't always increasing in value. Uh, the fact that we need to hold on to properties for the longer term means that cash flow is absolutely critical. Uh, so now we're looking for properties that are positive cash flow. So by positive cash flow, it means that we're actually putting money in our pocket each week. So the property is essentially self-funding. Now there's a lot of interpretations of the word positive cash flow so here today we're just trying to explain uh, the benefits and the true meaning of the word positive cash flow so quite often when you're looking at investment properties uh, you'll be quoted yield so the yield is a return on the investment so the easiest way to calculate the yield of an investment property is take the purchase price and it divide it by the annual rent that will give you the gross yield again when you're looking at a lot of times holiday type properties, apartments, etc., studio apartments, they're advertised with the gross rental yield figure in mind. So the gross field uh, figure is like when you get paid, you don't get to spend your gross amount, you get paid the net amount after tax. Same with the investment property. It's the net return of the investment property. So the gross return is simple, a simple calculation. Again, the purchase price divided by the annual rent. The net return is really the true income of the property. So that's after all the other property expenses. So you've got the, uh, the mortgage payments, rates, insurance, property management, repairs, other costs associated with that actual property. And uh, it's really the net return that determines whether that property is costing you money per week or putting money in your pocket per week. Uh, so if you're looking at figures and trying to estimate the figures that uh, on how the property is going to affect your personal cash flow, always bear in mind it's the net, always come back to that net uh, return of the investment property. Very easy to calculate when you understand or have a formula to take all those other expenses into mind. So absolutely critical for holding property for the longer term. Uh, so if you found that helpful, and you'd like to know some more information, I'm actually hosting a webinar on Thursday, the 2nd of June, so not too far away at 7 p.m. Uh, so it's a, a live webinar and I'll be going through in a lot more detail and actually explaining the cash flow, I'll have a real life property example and all those expenses we need to take into account and we'll actually be calculating the gross return and after all the expenses, the actual net return. Uh, so if there's something you're focusing on and you find it's going to really add to your um, investment knowledge, uh, I'd love to see you on board. Again, it's Thursday the 2nd of June at 7pm after hours and we're also going to follow that up with a live Q&A session as well. So you're welcome to bring on your questions and we'll answer those at the webinar. So there'll be a link somewhere on this page to join us on that evening. Looking forward to it. Great and enjoy the rest of your Tuesday and uh, see you again next week. Thanks.